Uh, usually I put my peanut butter on women, while well, this time we're gonna put it on our dates. Spanking, bad girl, bad girl. Okay, the rest is for later tonight. All right, so today we're gonna be making something super delicious, muy delicioso. Today we're gonna be making protein date bars that I've seen on TikTok, and I've made these three, four times, but I didn't try it with the protein yet. But we're gonna make it today, and you only need four ingredients. Simple as AF, okay? But all you need is four simple ingredients. You're gonna need protein of your choice. I have vegan just because your boy is lactose intolerant. We're gonna need a pack of dates, uh, pitted. You can do pitted or not, organic. You need a pack. You need a pound plus of chocolate bar. <laughs> you get these at Trader Joe's, super cheap. I think all of this might be like 20 bucks, not that expensive. And then you're gonna need peanut butter or almond butter of your choice. All right, so you're gonna need parchment paper just so it doesn't stick. And you're also gonna need a metal tray. You're gonna take the dates. She found known and pill. All right, so you're gonna need parchment paper just so it doesn't stick together. And you're also gonna need a metal tray. Now the first step what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dates, they're already pitted. You're gonna take them and you're gonna mush the shit out of them together so you create a nice little bottom layer, which I'm gonna show you in three, two. All right, so after you mush the shit out of all the dates, you're gonna take your peanut butter and you're gonna put as much as you like. Uh, usually I put my peanut butter on women, well, this time we're gonna put it on our dates. So we're gonna take this. Now this is the crunchy one. So first stir it up, you know, you gotta, gotta warm it up a little bit. And you take as much peanut butter as you like or almond butter and just smear that bar. Look at that, oof. Man, oh man. This looks good on dates. Let's just see how it looks and looks on someone. You know how you kids like it. All right, I think that's enough peanut butter. All right, so we got the peanut butter smeared. Now, onto this direction. We have some water boiling. We have one bowl, and we're gonna take our dark, dark, dark chocolate or milk chocolate, whatever you like. Like I said, I'm lactose and tolerant, so I will blow up the bathroom. All right, take two. You take your dark chocolate and you break it up and you put it into the bowl and all you do is just place it on here and it's going to melt. All right, so it should look like this. First, you gotta try a little bit to make sure it's delicious. Scrumbidly All right, so we're gonna take our cho chocolate, chocolate in our bowl and we're just gonna place it over the boiling water. All right, now that we have our chocolate nice and melted, we're gonna take protein powder. Now this is two scoops per serving, so we're gonna try two first, and then if we wanna add more, we will. And just mix it up, baby. We're gonna add one more. So now we're just going to layer it on top of the date. The thicker, the better. It's okay if you get a little spillage. Spread it nice and evenly. It's okay if it spills over, it's okay. Don't work. Give it a little nice little spanking. Bad girl, bad girl. Okay, the rest is for later tonight. So after that, final step is just put it in the fridge for as long as you like. I recommend three to four hours, five, 
the, the colder, the better. Let's gonna put it in the fridge. So it's been five hours since we last put this in the fridge. Look at this. Muy delicioso. Now let's cut through this. Hold on, Nikki. Gosh. Cool. Look at this. Do you guys see this? Mm. So easy, so easy to make. A lot of protein, fat, carbs, it's healthy. Three, four ingredients. Delicious, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Switch it up, you know, from a vlog. Show people how to make some delicious, healthy, protein chocolate date bar.